Good morning, everybody. Um, just want to start out by saying thank you so much for replying to the last video of, of the uh, W9 as far as uh, the shops recommended. Really appreciate it. You guys gave me a, a lot of um, decent ideas of where, where to go, and I'm going to call everybody today and see what uh, what I can come up with and, and uh, kind of go from there. Also, um, OT, uh, OTR Rookie, uh, man, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know he uh, he sent me um, people from his channel uh, down my way and honestly I wasn't expecting it and, and thank you so much man um, I'm in the truck haven't really uh, found them we're working on a couple loads um, today but I haven't really uh, put my my finger at anything so I just came out to the truck it's a little cold here um, today it's not you know like below zero or anything like that but it's, it's probably you know 15 degrees 20 degrees something like that so uh, I figured I'd do a, a, a walk around video of what I'd look for when I first uh, come out to the truck and before I start it. So, all right guys, so what I like to do is I actually on this particular truck, I start on the right side of the engine. Reason being is um, dipstick, oil dipstick is on this side and I can check the coolant level on this side easier as well. So I usually just start out with those. Um, getting close to um, the mileage I got to change it at antifreeze is good now while I'm up here too um, I'll just look at the fan real quick make sure there's nothing you know no cracked blades or anything like that um, and then just look at the top of the valve cover see if I can see any leaks that you couldn't probably see from from down now with this truck lowered you could see you know a lot better but antifreeze is good oil is good so next i look on the ground guys uh i try to to you know take note especially if i'm parking somewhere new of any spots on the on the ground as far as oil or anything like that the way I can eliminate that uh, the next day that it's not my trucks but you know just look around see if I can find any new leaks um, this truck the engine is pretty clean so it's pretty easy you know thank God um, to find out to see if there's any leaks or anything like that You know, same thing on this side just try to see if there's anything out of whack really um, steer tires too while well, this is up um, just to, I do like a, a quick visual inspection I mean I know the tread is good but just to see if there I can see any you know cuts or, or gashes or anything like that obviously it's aired up because it's not you know on the ground Same thing with this. Everything good there. And then I'll just do a visual of the truck, honestly. Uh, anything from, you know, make sure nobody hit the damn thing while I wasn't here to, you know, just obviously good kick on the tires. The trailer's got a uh, self airing system. I still kick them, still check them. trailer I am empty make sure nobody I know is pulling a, a prank on me I know some of you mother Frenchies still to this day um, I have a good buddy of mine that uh, when <laughs> When him and his wife went on his honeymoon, me and another buddy of mine went and decorated his house with uh, it's a girl balloons. Um, what made it even funnier is he, he thought his mother-in-law did it <laughs> and wouldn't believe us when we told him. But uh, he knows who it is. To this day, I keep waiting for him to get me back on that. So 
there's another reason why I checked that damn trailer. Um, I don't know if he, you know if he knows where I parked the truck yet, but I haven't told him for a reason. Everything looks good. All right, guys, moment of truth here. Cold start. It's not really cold out. Uh, cold, cold, I should say. If it was really, like, really, really cold, I'd hop on and actually press the clutch while I was uh, cranking it. Reason being is that transmission oil is so thick, and it just, you know, one one less thing to have resistance on on the starter. So, uh, Detroit's are actually pretty good with with cold starts uh, compared to the coming N14s I've had. At least me personally, I don't know if they're all like that or not. back home gotta get my stuff ready and then once I have something come out here and get going in the meantime the truck will warm up all right everybody we back uh, I actually found a load going down in Tennessee let's pick it up about two miles from where I parked the truck at the uh, Chrysler assembly plant out here in Southern Heights
All right, y'all. I'm gonna change out the switches real quick while I wait for these guys. Got my trusty pry tool here. Just gotta be careful so I don't scratch the vinyl. It's also a good opportunity to show in case anybody wants to do the same setup with the uh, scan gauge there. Take this thing off here. This is what I had to do to the inside of this, where this would have been just a solid piece because that's where the column would have set before. I had to, to notch that out so there's room for this to go inside there. Um, because otherwise it would have been flat up here and you couldn't really put it it would have been just too much it would have protruded way too much um, that way as far as the switches freightliner switches i still think they're garbage but that's just me so this would be for the Floodlights in the back. That works.
Oh, that was a freaking waste. <laughs> I uh, apparently I must have grabbed the wrong switch from my uh, my truck, and I had the one utility light switch, which was fine, but uh, the light switch I mistakenly took the. Um, I have an extra toggle switch for the windows, or as a momentary. I mean, it could be used for the windows. It could be used for the power mirrors. But I must have grabbed the, the wrong one. But anyway, since I'm here, I'm gonna while these guys are done, I gotta set everything up, put everything in the fridge that I need to, and uh, you know, make the bed and, and all that good stuff.
sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping it so we love Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah I'm coming home Savannah We'll never be alone Savannah The beauty of the world Savannah Let's all take a ride Savannah Just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back to when we were young For the animals we stand Let's go back to when trees were swung Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. Excuse the shininess. I'm at a truck stop just outside of uh, Louisville. I stop for a quick exercise in, and what I usually do is I just, you know, run around the uh, truck stop, you know, maybe a mile, maybe less, sometimes a little bit more, depends on how I'm feeling. And I always keep a jump rope with me and do a little bit of jump rope. I'm quite a bit out of shape so you know the mile run and then the jump rope afterwards jump rope gets a little tough on your calves uh, calves especially but just something to you know obviously I sit on my butt all day just something to keep it moving you know uh, anything's better than nothing even if you can't run around just walk around the truck stop for half an hour before you go to bed. You know? You're gonna be parked for 10 hours waiting on a reset anyway, so may as well.
guys next day. I unloaded this morning and uh, got lucky. Found the load really close by. Came and loaded. These guys are rock stars, man. I pulled in the parking lot from the moment I un I opened my doors, got loaded, closed my doors, got back in the truck. It was less than 10 minutes. Now, granted, I didn't have a whole lot of skids. I think it was only like. Every place was half as fast as these guys were. Just half. Just half. But anyway, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day down here uh, in, in Tennessee. I'm just south of Nashville. Going up to Indiana. It's going to be a little bit colder, but even up in Michigan, talk to a buddy of mine. The weather is gorgeous up there as well.
thing pretty much fell in there. I can't open the door from the inside or the outside, so I gotta figure out to open the door first. I got a couple of ideas of how I want to do that. We'll see how everything works out, but I will uh, bring you guys along for the video. Maybe somebody will, you know, has the same issue or will be having the same issue down the road. Hopefully not, but you know, in case at least there's a video of it. Uh, I also tried a little bit of uh, different things this time as far as shooting or capturing video. I tried a different kind of uh, POV setup, uh, maybe that can get some better shots, hopefully. I also used another GoPro uh, just as a mic with a windsock on it, and also put it outside the truck, and hopefully I can get a good exhaust note out of that, and not too much wind noise. Hopefully. Uh, I guess I'll find out when I uh, get home and edit this, this video. As far as the POV stuff, I'll... Uh, I'll put some of it on this video, but I don't want to be—I don't want it to be too long. And then I'll make a separate video with probably all the POV stuff that I shot, you know, in case anybody wants to just see that and just you know driving and the noises and, and, and you know, the, the visibility and not me blabbering about things. But as always, thank you so much for the support. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, make fun of me, whatever the case is, and we'll see you on the next one.